Welcome, my friends, to a Nomad Regicide Diplomacy game. Age of Empires 2. One of the all-time classic maps for it, and we have eight players from my community playing versus each other to the death. To the death. Uh, if you happen to be catching this video or stream for the first time, or you're just kind of a novice to it all, I'll briefly explain. A Nomad is a game mode where you start without a TC, and you start with... Uh, your normal villager count, so I guess it's normally three, uh, but it could be six for Chinese, which we do have here. You don't know where the golds are, you don't know where the food is, you don't know where anything is, actually, and you have to place a TC and figure that out for yourself. So it's quite nice, I think. Uh, what's not nice is that this is in the snow. For some reason, my no snow mod doesn't work, but I guess I'll have to deal with that. I'll introduce the players and I'll introduce the civilizations once the players find a starting location. Oh, God. Oh, God. Next game, Wolf Nothing. Finally got that one year subscriber badge, T90. Oh, I feel really bad for Shash Lake. If you look at the minimap, that looks like a wonderful f location to dock. Normally you want to find a piece of land that juts out. And in this area you would think that it's this is where the water is. But no, there's this random pond here. And Maximus Quietus is quietly passing there. But yeah, that's an awful dock for him, unfortunately. There's a few shorefish, but you probably wish you would have docked out to there. Let's introduce the players now. Chosen all, thank you, man, for the 10. Uh... Really glad you got to one year now, and you played well last game, man. Unfortunately, Olacy just creamed you with the elephants. Let's let's introduce the players. We'll start with Tarzis, I guess. Tarzis is playing as the Aztecs. I allowed him to... I allowed all the players, except for Miguel, to pick their civilizations. So, Aztecs for him. Uh, south of the map is where Shash like placed his TC. Right next to two enemy docks, actually. Or they could be ally, if he, he chooses to ally them. He's Persians. In the purple to the north of Shash Lake, we have Nushio. Nushio has chosen the Mongols for this one. Good TC spot. There's there's plenty of boars. Oh, this is a great TC spot. There's five, six boars, deer, stone, and golds. So that's an amazing TC spot for Nushio. All the way to the north of the map, we have Miguel. Now, I had Miguel go random because Miguel is an actual pro player. So everyone chose civilizations except for Miguel and... Woo! Lindy almost ran his king into Miguel's TC. So Miguel has Turks, which without gold can always be a struggle. Excuse me, sorry for the sniffles. Uh, Lindy's right here. Not far away, obviously, and Lindy is playing as the Magyars. Maximus is playing as the Chinese, and that TC spot is not the best. Um, just some basic advice. You want your TC to be next to a wood line, so this would be better, but he does have resources surrounding him. Uh, King is here in the orange playing as the Ghats. In the yellow, we have Captain Cool yes. playing as the Mongols, and that would be it, right? That would be it. So dock locations are important to focus on because players will want to go for fishing ships. Um, gold, stones, everything. There's so many resources on Nomad, so you have to claim them. And then, also, it's diplomacy, so you could ally Miguel and maybe backstab him later on, or Miguel could backstab you, or you could never be friends at all. There's a lot of potential. Tenzo donated $1, said, next game for us, nothing, Kappa. Sorry, T90 had to do this. Keep up the good work, I love your streams. By the way, go Nushio. Okay, so Tenzo's rooting for Nushio. It's actually a good question, who are you guys rooting for here? Are you rooting for Miguel because he's a pro player and you want to see him cream the seven others? Are you rooting for Tarsis because he's French and you like French people? Are you rooting for King Wordy because you like Goths? What's the reasoning here, chat? Atenzo, I guess, good for me. <laughs> that didn't go to Texas speech, but sorry that didn't go to Texas speech. I have a, a $5 limit on Texas speech just to avoid spam. French Anthony says, I like French people. <laughs> All right. Well, you backed that up with your username. That's funny. The players on the south of the map have a lot more space, a lot more breathing room. That's the first thing I noticed here. You have Tarsus on the right-hand side. 
But then it's just new shield and chest like to share all this space. In the north is where the majority of people are. And Miguel, he has a great TC spot. Plenty of boars. There's golds, there's stones, and he has a population re lead. He's at 25 pop, six fishing ships, and more fishing ships, and more vills for Miguel. Again, Miguel is a pro player, so... I think it'll be fun to see people try and focus on Miguel. Or unfortunately, it might be fun to see people die to Miguel, too. <laughs> if you're a spectator, that is. You know, I really like Miguel. He's one of the nicest guys in the community. He's He doesn't give himself enough credit. Uh, Miguel is watching this cast later on. Miguel, you're way better than you think you are, man. He's always like, no, no, I'm not very good. Yes, you're incredibly good. Catch the stream. Started a new job a few months ago and been really busy. Might try to play in one of these games later. Miguel is the star of the video The Day the World Exploded, if you guys remember that, which was probably almost two years old now. But he's a great player and he's a very nice guy, and he's always enjoying the community games too, which is very rare for pros. You don't see a lot of pros watching community games and, and playing in them, except for maybe Tato and Miguel. So Just String Fellow, thank you for seven, man. Glad you could be here, man. Uh, life gets busy. It's important to have a job, though, and I hope things improve. Tazis will surrender, Kappa. Uh, not necessarily. I don't hope things improve. I hope you might be able to get into the games. Dude, I understand. I I've had a lot of people, you know, start jobs or start school and whatnot. They can't frequent the stream as much, but it's always good to, to see you back here, man. Yeah, MBL also plays. Correct. There's just a select few, as my point, Lee Chukanoop, that play, and I really appreciate that. Tenzo said, next game donation, nothing. Tarzis will surrender, Kappa. Uh, you making French jokes, man? You might want to be careful, because French Anthony's in the chat, and he's going he's gonna to hear that, man. So I guess we'll have to see how this plays out. I really like Nomad, though. Uh, for, for community games, it is. When I'm not playing, I actually hate playing on Nomad, because... The, the resources can be spread out, and it's not fair at times. Like, imagine if someone had TC'd right here. They would have berries, but they would have no, very little stone, or I guess they have stone, but no gold, right? But for the most part, I think everyone has access to golden stones. It's just more cramped in the north area. Is there a video on a nomad strat? Nomad start or nomad strat, lofty chimp? Also, Dark Age, what's up, man? I saw you say hello a few minutes ago. I mean... Oh, goodness gracious, Lindy. You know, Lindy is a Packers fan, so that's... <laughs> that's what Aaron Rodgers looked like when he got... When he played up against the Vikings defense this past year. When are we I'm a Vikings fan, so... Anytime I can dig on the Packers, I will. Can can we uh can you clip that by the way? Can you clip that so I can send that to my Packers fan friend? Oh, we have more Packers fans in the chat. Oh, great. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Just don't start talking about Super Bowl wins, and we'll be friends still, okay? Uh, Miguel's on the way to Castle Age now. Uh, what was I gonna say? Jeez. Um, yeah. So Nomad's always different. There's no exact build order because you don't know how many sheep, how many boars, how many deers you'll be able to find, right? However, it's very important that you dock because there's always going to be fish. So it's important you place a good dock like Miguel has here. Get a good solid dock placement and fish. And then if you have boars, great, you collect them too. But if you don't, you at least have good food income with the fish. Uh, Miguel, you know, he, he collected quite a few boars, some deer, and he's had fish. And now he's in Castle Age and he's going to add new TCs soon. So uh, that's going to be problematic. <laughs> It's going to be very problematic for those around Miguel if Miguel doesn't start allying people, which he doesn't. That's that's normal of pros to never pay attention to the diplomacy screen. At Mutu, I actually had oven chicken cooked this morning for the stream, so I guess I'll be cooking some more chicken in the oven tomorrow when I need to eat. I don't know, man. Thank you. Urza says, AoE 2 matches are never fair. There's always differences in resources, terrain, sieves, skills. Correct. You're right about that. You're right about that. But Nomad is probably the least balanced. 
But in this game, I can't really have any complaints about that. One thing I'll say is that Captain Cool, he doesn't have a lot of space. People have been walling him out here, so he needs to try and branch out down here, which I guess he has one villager there, so that's nice. T90 Fischl, who is your captain for fantasy football? If you're talking about Premier League football, I forget. I think it's Lukaku. If you're talking about NFL fantasy football, I don't do that. Maximus is... Well, he's had a slower start for sure. He's had a very slow start, but... While he's behind in skill, I think that the idea to wall up here is a nice thing. Um, oh, don't tell me these are idle fishing ships. No! No! That's so unfortunate, man. Maximus, he hasn't clicked the fish. And he thinks these are fishing. He, he's obviously a, a lower rated player. But he doesn't know they're not fishing. Oh, it's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, man. It's fine. Yeah, Johnny's got it. It's fine. It's fine, okay? That's all you need to do in situations like that. Just say it's fine and it makes it all better. Oh, King also docked this. That's funny. <laughs> King also docked this. Captain Cool has just changed King to enemy. And he's, uh... Hmm. Well, that's because he's on this gold. And King is attacking him with man-at-arms. And these villagers can't get back home now. So Captain Cool needs to... Uh... Are they gonna just pass through? What? Alright. Well, they're just passing. King says, oh shit, my bad, Capt. Was not looking. I don't want to kill you. I see he had him on neutral. Wait. Yeah, he had him on neutral, so... No, 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 he has him on enemy. And I guess, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm on Captain Cool's point of view. So yes, Captain Cool has him to enemy because he's being attacked, but... Uh, Yellow has him on neutral, so uh, maybe that was a misclick. Look at all the blue on the minimap, guys. Miguel has 44 villagers, 60 population, 13 fishing ships. It's just insane. And it's going to snowball more and more. That That's a nice move from Orange. To just let him live. But Captain Cool might not believe him. And now he's building a castle as Mongols right behind this TC. <laughs> so we could see a fight here regardless. Alright. King is making full man at arms. And for whatever reason, he wants to kill Shash Like's duck. Which offers very little to Shash Like at the moment, but I think he will regret investing into so many man at arms. It's a good play for 1v1s, maybe, but for team games, it's just going to leave you in the feudal age when your opponent's in castle. And Captain Cool will make Manga die, and these these man at arms will be Manga dead pretty soon. Um, I think it's worth looking at the alliances at the moment. That's kind of tough to track, I guess. Nushio is at least allied to Shashlike down here. Uh, neutral between Tarzis and Shashlike. So they're thinking about it, at least. But they're not allied. What about Miguel? Miguel... He has an ally in Lindy. So he has allied Lindy. Alright. The king says, man, you're lame. <laughs> Miguel says, hello, amigo. I don't know where they were saying hello. Maybe it was on water, maybe it was on land, but that's the only friend that Miguel has right now. Hmm. There's not much else I can say at the moment. I, I would love to. And Maximus, has he figured out his fishing ships are idle? I think he did, because he collected that one deep fish. But now that the fishing ships don't know where to go. Oh wait, there's a shore fish there? Uh, I think there was a shore fish there. Yeah, you should be looking for deep fish. It's much better 
source of food income, but they're at least working now. All players but red and orange are in Castle Age with multiple TCs booming, so... That's, that's great for them. Strong Ecos. Let's talk compositions. Miguel has Turks. Turks can do virtually everything if they have gold. They cannot make halberdiers, they cannot upgrade to elite skirmisher. So, a uh, Hussars, Cavalier, Heavy Camels, Janissaries, Bombard Cannons, Siege Rams, uh, Champions even. They cannot go for Arbalest, but who would need that when you have gunpowder? Also on Nomad, it is not uncommon to see someone build Bombard Towers, because there's so many stone spots. This whole map could be covered in towers in an hour's time. But Miguel's King is the one thing that could change things. If it was a straight up free from, Miguel wins easily, I'd say. But if he loses his King, when he's focusing on all the things pros focus on, and it's game over. Earlier he had his King next to the shoreline. I guess he's, he's brought to the TC. Berries are too slow. What about berries? Oh, Chills Dude says, why is Miguel not look picking from the berries? Yeah, berries aren't really that important now. It's better to get the farms up early with the farm upgrades and a fish. And that's what he's done, and he's on his way to the Imperial Age now. <laughs> he has 86 villagers. I believe he's just lost a villager somewhere. Because I looked at it, it said 87, then it went down to 86. But anyway, 86 villagers. And he's on his way to the Imperial Age. He has 1,500 stone. One castle's going up already. He's not in a big rush, obviously, building it with one villager. And no barracks, so... I don't know, maybe he'll just go with his unique units out of his castles to start. How did Janissaries compare to hand cannons? Uh, they have higher attack and slightly more HP. But the problem is, is that... Janissaries, you need castles to build. So on Nomad, it's fine. It's absolutely fine to go for Janissaries because you'll likely have the stone. Uh, but in regular games, you need to consider just how fast you're going to be able to create the units. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, this is great. This is great. King is still making man-at-arms. And uh, Captain Cool is building a castle here so he can get this gold back. King is in trouble, man. King is in big, big trouble. Oh yeah, also they don't get the same bonus for its infantry as hand cannons. Correct, yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? But I would go Janissary, Bombard Cannon, and Bombard Tower, and probably Siege Rams, and maybe Hussars. Like, champions, you really have no need for that. Champions you'd normally make to, to counter enemy trash. Um, well, not necessarily enemy trash, but to counter enemy halbs that might be masked, but why do that when you have gunpowder, right? Oh, look at this. Tarsus is walled in Captain Cool, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I guess Captain Cool will make it out. He's done a good job to, to get some space. He's building another castle right on top of King. King's King is in this TC, guys. So he needs to be careful. You know, elsewhere, Captain Cool, he has branched out down here, as I said he should do. And uh, Shashlike is still booming up. Nushio is still booming up. And he's building lots of castles here, as Mongols. You know what I think Miguel will do? I think he'll go for a, a slightly... I, I don't want to call him a troll, right? But I think he'll go for a strategy that's not as quote-unquote try-hard and normal. Because he knows he's way stronger than everyone. Uh, in the, the other games he's played before, he's gone for wacky strategies. And I believe it's just Bombard Towers. Bombard Towers with 13 range. He doesn't have a Siege Workshop, he doesn't have a Barracks, he's just heavy on stone, and he got he's getting all his upgrades for Towers. And, uh, you know, the last time Miguel played in a community game, he went for full Monks. The other time he went for full Demos. Can he win a game with full Bombard Towers? He has so many! 
He has so many already and still 2,000 stone. Sanchar, you turn me right round, right round, right round as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for 11. Tars is, is trying to build a castle here. The castle's going to be denied by Bombard Towers. So Miguel, as far as I know, has not created any units whatsoever. And he has 20 kills now. And this would probably be where the French person would surrender. But Tarzis is going to fight. <laughs> Miguel, remember he has one ally and that's Lindy. Look how many towers he's built so far. I said earlier, I think this whole map will be just covered in towers. He has access, more access to stone here. Uh, here. 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 I mean, there's stone everywhere. And he's on at least seven different piles. <laughs> I don't think they can... I mean, granted, they'll keep their kings alive, most likely. But I really don't think that they can kill these towers right now. They need Siege Ram to push that back. Inushio signals and says no. Uh, he's not happy to, to see the towers surrounding his ally in Tarzas. <laughs> uh, Miguel at least will not get this tower up for now. He's getting sappers. And he just says, why? Well, why would you kill my villagers? And Nushio is doing a great job at stopping these towers. If he goes for siege rams and Mangadai, Miguel will lose all of his towers. Miguel's no fool. Miguel knows that, but he's making this fun. <laughs> and look, more towers for Miguel. Now, Miguel's allied with Lindy, so... This won't be bad for Lindy unless Lindy turns. This is actually really smart security blanket to build towers in your allies' base. That way, if they turn on you, they know pain is coming. But poor Tarsus, man. His king is in this TC. He got his castle denied earlier. He's almost completely surrounded by towers. I really feel bad for the guy. Well, Johnny, Bombard Towers do yes. cost gold as well, right? So, it's gold and stone. So, technically, I was right on that. What is this? This would be a great time to be a monk, go off to a foreign land, and just meditate for a couple months. That's what I would do. Yes. And that's what these guys are going to do. Tarsus is Aztec, so it's not a bad idea to go for monks, but uh, he can't convert towers. And Miguel is is massing more and more towers next to Nushio now, and he finally adds a siege workshop, so maybe bombard cannons and bombard towers. I don't think he can go for towers all game, but you know what? I say that, and he, he's building towers towards Red. Poor Red. <laughs> and Captain Cool, I guess he's tried to deny this tower, but I, I believe he clicked the tower instead of the villagers. Where is the king for Maximus? It's in a transport. Where is the king for Orange, actually? Oh, that's also in a transport. And it's running around this way. Okay. Oh, I would laugh so much if it hits a tower. <laughs> oh, he won't want to go here because he sees Miguel has a villager. Oh, will Miguel kill it? King is trying to run away to freedom. He's run around the whole map. And oh god! He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, that's freaking hilarious. Oh, Nilly's viewers just missed that. That's hilarious. Uh, welcome to Nilly's viewers. Nilly, hi. Nilly, well, I guess not Nilly salute. T90 salute. What's up, guys? Welcome to Community Games. Uh, in this community game, we have Miguel, who is one of the best players in the world. This is Diplomacy Regicide, so if you lose your king, you are you're dead. And Miguel's tower here just killed a king that was in a transport. Miguel is building Bombard Towers as Turks all over the map. His only ally is green, and is so far so good for him. And the only one to really threaten Miguel is Nushio. But Nushio, I think he needs a little bit more firepower here. So for those that might not know me, I'm an Age of Empires 2 caster. On Thursdays we do community games. People get really hyped about it, and I think we'll be doing Wolf Nothing or some some crazy nothing map after this. Siege Rams is the way to go versus composition. 
And this is the more, this is the firepower I needed to see from Nushio. This is good stuff. Nushio will probably lose this castle soon after placing it, but he's killing these expensive towers, and he can kill the Trebs and Bombard Cannons too. Mongols is a nice sieve for this, because you have that siege speed. What is Red doing? Red is raiding with spears? Oh no! Red's going the same way as Ar that Orange did earlier with his king. Red is on 24 pop, he has no TC. So he's trying to run around with his king and a few villagers so he can find new lands. But he could run into that same tower if he loops around. Jeez. Miguel better stop trolling now. He has no answer to siege rams. And I don't see him changing his style up too much. I see Lindy's going for Paladin, right next to Miguel. But, um... I don't think it would be wise for Lindy to turn on Miguel, because Miguel has so many towers here. Luckily, Red's King is safe for now. It is just in this corner, but he's not actually living life. He's alive, but he's not truly living. Uh, did I miss anything here? It seems like I did. Okay, so Shashlike, who's allied with Nushio, has turned on Captain Cool. So it's not the best situation for Captain Cool, the other Mongols player. Because he now doesn't have much space. He's just in this small corner. However, he still has resources. I think if he gets to Mass Mangatai, he can kill Persians. The Shash like has Paladin, though, and Captain Cool doesn't really have any numbers right now. It's pretty much been Nushio and Miguel for the past couple minutes. And Miguel is still trying to build towers. Tarsus is still alive. I, I forgot to talk about him. Tarsus... Oh, he has his king in Nushio's TC, so he'll stay alive because of Nushio. This map is Nomad, Roletti. This is a Nomad game. And Miguel might soon realize that he needs to do something other than towers. Because... Offensively, the tower is just not working out for him. He's losing them right after they go up. So a lot of stone, a lot of gold being wasted here. Damn floor, thank you for the prime, man. Good to have you here. Yeah, I know Miguel's a strong player, but... If he's only going with towers, I think it'll be trouble for him. Oh, okay, never mind. He does have a trick up his sleeve, and it is Bombard Cannons. So with this many Bombard Cannons, he could kill Siege Rams. Ah! 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 Here we go, he killed it. So Bombard Cannons and Bombard Towers, but I don't know. Mangadai Siege Ram should beat this. Miguel is trying something different. He's collecting gear as he's building towers. What a strong player. Siege Rams are so strong. Right after the towers go up, they go right back down. The villagers will die, and I think Bombard Cannons or Bombard Towers will die unless Miguel does something different. Shashlike is going for Elite War Elephant. So not just Paladin for him, Elite War Elephant. That'll be fun to watch. He also has plenty of Paladins here and ready to go. So you need to be paying attention. If you're Nushio, you have to be very careful here. Because you could easily get sniped. Your king is right there. Miguel tried. But he hasn't progressed too much further on that side. In fact, he's only been pushed back. And here he's getting pushed back as well. So, credit to Miguel. Because if he would have played this standard, I think he would have wiped up Tarzis. He would have wiped up Nushio by now. I mean, Nushio has played very well. But if he would have played this as he would in a pro team game... I think this would have been a different game. So he's making this more interesting. But I don't know where he will go from here. I have a feeling Lindy's going to try and snipe him. And where does Miguel have his king? His king is only in this TC. So that's the thing with pro players. They, they don't think about the snipes. His king's in that TC when his enemy has fully upgraded cav archers and paladins. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. And if I'm Lindy, I think about sniping Miguel because Miguel's preoccupied on this side. And, well, Miguel is Miguel. 
Are there any more games happening later, chat? Yes, at poor. The stream has pretty much just started. Um, oh, actually, I didn't realize I was on the wrong overlay here. I guess it's not the end of the world, but I should have been here. Boom, okay. Yeah, stream has pretty much just started. I've been live for two hours. We'll do 20 more games today. Oh no, Miguel! Oh god, no! Oh, thousands and thousands of gold going down. Can we get the T90 throw spam for that? Oh my goodness, he lost six Bombard Cannons. And that's before we figure in the cost of the towers. Jeez. Yo, how is Red on the way to Castle Age? Oh, he rebuilt a TC. Let's go. Also, while we're at it with the spam, can we get some T90 woos going for Red? Maximus Quietus. He's quietly surviving here. There's not much that is maximum about his gameplay, but he's at least on his way to Castle Age. And his king is surviving. It's okay, you don't have to be the best in the community game. You'll still be able to participate and give us entertainment in some way. I always try and focus on uh, all the players. Not just Miguel. And Miguel says, I got traded! And M Lindy is going to kill the king. Wait. Yeah. Lindy kills Miguel. <laughs> Miguel didn't even save his king. He just said, 11, I got traded. <laughs> Easy peasy. Miguel gets T90 wrecked. And Lindy, he has to clean up these towers still. But I'm sure he'll be feeling pretty good about that. Killing a player like Miguel. Now, Nushio, he deserves an assist at least. Because Nushio and Tarsus, they're doing such a good job distracting Miguel that he didn't realize. Just look at all the towers he was still able to build and keep up. But he's gone down now. Miguel is the second person to die, and he'll still be top score for a while. I don't know where this is going to go, my friends. I really don't, because there's so many resources for players. Okay, Tarzis is now running away with his king because he knows he could be sniped. That's a smart move. Relocate. Shashlike has Trebs and he has Paladins, and he's right next to Nushio. So he might be bloodthirsty, and he might want a king kill. Yeah, he has five Trebs here, he has his king here, and he has five more Trebs there. And he also researched Elite War Elephant earlier, so he has potential to make elephants. Sometimes you want an ally for late game, sometimes you want to be comfortable late game. I think having an ally is nice for trade and all, and, and for support, but you never know when they will turn on you, and that does not make you very no. comfortable. And, point proven, Nushio signals the Paladins, and he says no. So he expects that Shashlike is up to something here, and he would be correct, and uh, I think we might see a Promised big fight here. Promised to raise our son to become an honorable pointy boy, Kristen. Mandred, thank you for nine. Yes, I will. I will raise our Twitch baby to become an honorable pointy boy. Thank you, man. Thank you for the pointy boys chat. Rodire, thank you for four as well. Thank you guys for the new subs today. What's up? No doubt about it. Welcome, welcome. So I think if it's Mangadai versus, versus Paladins... Now, it depends on the numbers and the positioning of the micro, of course. But, I would prefer to have Mangadai. I'd prefer to have Mangadai. However, elephants, if you can spam them out of four or five castles, I think they would beat Mangadai. So, okay, here we go. The gloves are off. Both of these players have their economies next to each other, so villagers are going to die at the very least here. Just a matter of if kings will die. And I think this is the only engagement currently ongoing because Red, well, he's not he's not doing much. Actually, oh man. Red Red is gonna have to relocate again. Oh god, feels bad, man. So I guess okay, red isn't fighting, he's dying to green. But green and yellow are currently allied and they're not oops, they're not fighting each other, so. It's just these two really. The king is right here for Nushio. And one thing you have to consider is that Persian Paladins get extra, they get a bonus versus Archers. So, 
They'll do slightly better here than other Paladins. But, you know, the Mangatai have a hill. I guess... Also, Mangatai have to be created out of castles, which could be complicated if you lose them. I don't know. This is a close battle. But I'm surprised Nushio isn't focusing down the trebuchets. Mangadai destroys Siege so fast. Is he distracted with something else? Or can he just not keep up? His king has been relocated, so maybe that's what he was focusing on. I mean, there's a lot going on here. There is a lot going on here. This is not easy. And here we go. Yeah, Pikes and Mangadai will beat Pure Paladin. I don't even think you really need the Pikes. It at least helps, but... With these resources, I would go with full Magatai, personally. But you know what? He's down to two castles now, so he might not be able to do that. He built three on the front, and they've all gone down. He wasn't able to snipe the Trebs. Let me take a glance to the other side quickly. Captain Cool. He is still allied with Green, so... These guys could have an Ultra Alliance, or they could have a huge engagement. And... No! Gula, Lindy, you're such a jerk. Lindy killed the transport. The transport was in the north. And Lindy sinks it to the bottom of the sea. Ah. Oh, Lindy is heartless. Heartless. Miguel's somewhere in the chat saying, I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm not alone. You gotta respect these longswords. Hey, I would want to be a paladin. Not a longsword, but... They've chosen the longsword life. And that's not a great decision as Persians for Shashlike. And I think now it's easy to say that Shashlike made a poor decision in trying to attack Nushio, who is well ahead in score now. And he has 180 pop versus Shashlike's 80 population. And also, Shashlike does not have space, he cannot expand. Now, Let's please not forget about Tarzis. He's rebooming. He has lots of resources. The fact that we've not talked about him in a long time means that he'll probably have a real force yes. coming later on in this game. Uh, Captain Cool is now helping Nushio. So I, I think Shashlike is probably going to be the next person to go down here. Uh, this is interesting. Are these guys friends or not? Is this army just passing? If it was blue coffee, it'd be just passing. Where's Lindy going? Where, where's the king? Oh, the king's in this TC. This is not a friendly army. If I was the king, I'd, I'd just pass out if I saw these cav archers and paladins. Oh, God. Captain Cool's obviously seen this. He should know his king is there. No, Captain Cool! Captain Cool's gonna die, isn't he? This king will come out of the TC, no doubt about it. Just a matter of if he'll get sniped. Oh, it's one this way! Oh! No! Captain Cool has been sniped by Lindy. So Lindy has killed three people in this game. Can anybody stop him? He's looking very strong. Uh, Tarzis and Nushio, they're still pushing against Shashlike down here. There's only three... Oh, sorry, four... Wait. Yeah, four people remaining. As Shashlike is probably finished. I, I think the end is near for him. So, final compositions. Paladins and Cav Archers. Uh, and Magyar Hussar. Elite Mangadai and Siege. And Aztecs, well, we've seen the monks. It could be anything. It could be Siege, it could be Eagles, it could be Arbalest. I think Lindy has showed that going for the snipe first is always the best approach. You never want to be reactive, you want to be proactive. He did that with Miguel. Red was just a freebie, basically, to pad his stats. <laughs> and then uh, he took the initiative versus Yellow as well. Obviously, there's a risk, you know, if they sense it and they would have been a strong ally, then you're in trouble, but so far, so good for Lindy. I don't think Lindy has ever won a community game with Regicide Diplomacy, so Lindy's played in quite a few over the past year, and Lindy will probably want a victory. 
And Lindy is the Lannister in this game. Yeah, pretty much. MN Lannister, right? What's interesting about Nomad, though, is you don't really need trade. You don't necessarily need an ally for resources. Shashlike says you need to push teal and purple allies. Ooh, so Shashlike is is giving information to Lindy. But anyway, there's so many gold and stone piles that you don't need to trade with someone, so you could just be a, a boss and start sniping. Elite Magyar Hussar, Paladin, and the Cav Archers. This is such a strong composition. I really like the addition of the Elite Magyar Hussar because they have that bonus for Siege, so... Even if uh, Siege Onager is researched by Tarzis or by Nushio, it won't matter all that much in the end if the Magyar Hussar come in. Philster says, T90 official, what game mode will be next? Um, I don't know yet. I think we'll do Wolf Nothing. We'll do Wolf Nothing, Gold Nothing, or Relic Nothing. One of those Nothing maps, I think I'll allow people to vote. And it'll probably be Standard King of the Hill. Because when those are registered, it can go on for far too long. But I think for King of the Hill, it can be quite exciting. And also, I, I miss some T90 Woos. Need some T90 Woo in my life. Well, the end is, is near for Chash. Like, he could try and run uh, through Yellow's base. Or maybe not. Just maybe build a transport, possibly. Oh, excuse me. And, uh... Maybe transport to green in the north. Tarsus is converting any Hussar that comes in, and Shashlight can barely afford these. Maybe you should send that stone to Lindy. How did he get over 6,000 stone? <laughs> oh my god. I didn't realize that. That would help Lindy a lot, though. Because then he could build some more castles forward for the, the Magyar Hussar. A long paragraph from Chana. He says, T90 Fish, I love the stream. Sadly, I never watched live. ADSL, third, wor third world problems. Never stop being this awesome. One day when I'm earning, I'll owe you some donations. And one day when I get better internet, I love to play community games regardless. However, thanks for the amazing content. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Thanks for saying that. Um, I, I honestly have no read on this game. It all depends on diplomacy aspects. Tarsus is going to have 100 HP monks, but it doesn't really doesn't really help against Lindy's composition, right? It doesn't help against composition from Nushio. Uh, Tarsus could go for eagles and snipe Nushio while Nushio thinks he's going to be an ally. Everything depends on how Tarsus plays this, I think. Ezor Adventures says, say my name. There you go, man. There you go. So, Green is currently allied with, uh, with Nushio. I should point that out. So, I really don't know who Lindy's going for here. Lindy's aware that Teal is allied with Purple. He knows they're working together, so we just go for Tarzis. I think the answer is yes to that. And I think, yet again, we have an army that's just passing. Yet again, a hole in a wall. And yet again, Tarzis, he doesn't have enough. He hasn't reacted to... The oh my god, those monks, guys. Those monks. Oh, the sad thing is they're healing the paladins before the paladins kill their own king. Because they're allied right now. And Tarzis must not realize the king... Oh! The king survives! So the monks will probably die here. Despite the ridiculous amount of HP, but the king survives. So can he spam enough eagles here, Tarzis? Thousands of gold going down the drain with the monks. Uh, he has a transport here. He could actually survive this. And he does have lots of resources. This is where purple could, uh, could help out. Hopefully purple doesn't turn on Tarzis. That would be disappointing, but... Yeah, I genuinely think Tarzis can hold this. He just has to make eagles. I believe he has all the upgrades on them. 
I don't know, maybe Nushio has no intention of standing by Tarsus' side. Like Tarsus did to him. Tarsus says, can you help? Yeah. This is when I'd be a bit annoyed. 22 months, and still never received any love from this chat. Feels bad, man. I also never got to play in a community game. Hashtag rigged. All right, chat. W let's get some T90 love flowing for genius. First of all, that's a bold face lie, man. That's a bold face lie. But thank you for 22, man. Thank you for all the bits and everything. Uh, if you want to play in a game, I I'll give you a spot. I'll give you a spot. Normally, I won't hashtag rig it, but you've been a big supporter of the channel. I never saw you. And maybe it's just you haven't been around for community games. I don't know. But I, I don't think you've tried to get in often. But either way, I'll, I'll give you spots. Uh, Nushio was a little bit late to help out, but he is going to assist Tarsus here. And I'd be salty if I was Tarsus. Why did he wait so long, you know? He waited till Tarsus lost most of his economy, and then he started to help. But uh, either way, the king survives in that castle. So, gotta appreciate some sort of assistance. Shashlike is still alive, guys. Uh... Not good quality of life, and somehow he's lost most of his stone. I guess it's because he's placing more castles, but he doesn't have military, really. Okay, a few paladins. That's not going to be enough. Genius, I'll be doing games for the next five-ish hours, man. So just ping me in the chat when we start the next one. But for those wondering uh, how we do this... You just have to be here. We use the Voobly platform, so you need to make sure you have the mod that we use. So it's different sometimes, but normally we'll look kingdoms. And assuming you have that, you can enter from the Twitch chat once we uh, start the next game. Subscribers to the stream get four times the extra entries, but anyone can enter, so you don't have to worry about it if you can't justify a sub. This is going to be a long game at this rate. This is going to be a very, very long game at this rate. But it's been a quality game so far, I think. Lindy has, has gotten the three biggest snipes of the game. And Tarzis should... Oh, it's so hard to say what Tarzis should do. If he goes for eagles, these heavy cab archers are stronger than your average cab archer. Uh, and then... Magyars get champions with full ups and paladins with full ups. If you go with Sea Janager, then Lindy has the Elite Magyar Hussar to snipe the Sea Janager. So it's. I don't know. It's tough for me to, to say. This is funny. <laughs> Those units got trapped there for a moment. So Lindy's pushing against Nushio, but Nushio shows up with Mangadai. And I much prefer Mangadai to Cav Archers. Does Lindy not have thumb ring? Can you guys tell? It seems like he doesn't have thumb ring. Now I know that Mangatai fire a lot faster, so it, maybe it could be deceiving. But it almost looks like he doesn't have thumb ring. Huh. I guess we'll see. He's making paladins, he's making cab archers. There's so much space down here. Imagine if. If any player, like Gray, if he used his resources to clean up Yellow's base, I feel like that'd be better than trying to defend versus Purple. Just run. Just run, get some Trebs, protect the Trebs, and slowly kill these buildings and take this space. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of resources there, but still, I really like that. And Gray does have an ally. He has green, but he can't get to green. I think he should try and utilize his ally a bit more. Slight hill advantage here for the Cav Archers. Mangatai are so much better, and Tarzis has Pikes, he has Monks. And Lindy's getting pushed back. Lindy can't do it all on his own. I think he needs more Paladin, believe it or not. Or at least have a, a uh, Magyar Hussar buffer for your Cav Archers. Have some meat in front. Tarzis has gold. He doesn't have a lot of villagers. <laughs> it's like he's forgotten about creating villagers after he lost them, but... Um, he has lots of gold, lots of monks, and he has almost full upgrades on his eagles. 
These monks have 95 HP. I believe he's researched every single technology that Aztecs can research, and every time a tech is finished, then uh, you get 5 extra HP. Reaper says you should sleep more, or better during the night, otherwise it's an unhealthy lifestyle. Did I say I haven't been sleeping? Or did I yawn or something? <laughs> I'm not sure where that's coming from, Reaper, but thank you. Yes, I know, sleep is very important. I do my best, man, I do my best. I'm not sure where that came from. Tars is researching banking like he wants to sling somebody. Huh. Just feels like Tars is his lung for the ride, right? Like, these moves from Tarzis don't seem like moves you make if you really want to win the game yourself. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So many monks. So many Vululus. This fight should go much better for Tarzis than for Nushio. Because the monks are healing as well as converting. But credit to Lindy, man. Lindy is holding on here. Hell of a job. He killed about 20 enemy monks. He's 2v1, and he is just killing it, but he doesn't have the population now. 130 pop. I don't know if he can keep it up. He might need to regroup back at home. <laughs> what a game, man. What a game. It's just these Mangadai. These Mangadai, they have a slight hill now as well with the monks healing them. That's strong. Oh, God! And Tarsus just gave 3,000 gold to Nushio. So Tars is spreading the love. Tars is might as well be A28 in this game. Seriously. A28 or Carlini or Spooky Sean or someone. 3,000 gold to a guy who's already killing it. Oh! Uh... He deleted that. There's no other explanation because Miguel is still allied to him. He deleted that. So... Lindy... When the going got rough, he just... He just ended it all. Oh, gosh. I did not expect that. Oh, man. I guess he just gave up. He doesn't have any gold. Did he call the GG? Nushio. Oh, I saw Nushio's GG. Gotcha. Lindy called the GG and he, he resigns. I think he ran out of gold here. He had a little bit there. What I would do in that situation is I would probably tell Tars is, hey, I'm never going to kill Nushio. You're never going to kill Nushio unless we ally each other. And then try and get Tars in on it. Uh, Tars is very much loyal to Nushio, though. So maybe that would not have worked. And now Shash Like is... I mean, I said this an hour ago, but he's... He's gonna die. And he says, GG Nushio. No, wait. Wait. Give Tarzis a chance to mass a force to try and kill Nushio. That's what I would do. Like, there's still opportunities here only because of diplomacy. The Shaslight calls GG. He played well. He ended up attacking Nushio, so he kind of put himself in this spot. Probably has a lot of respect for Nushio for getting here as well. The Shaslight sends resources to Tarzis. And now this gets awkward because Tarzis didn't have a lot of time to mass units. And he also doesn't have much gold. Yes. And he says, You have been a nice guy. Glad to be a part of this community. It's been fun so I think far. he's gonna give it up. I think he's gonna give it up. He says, Good luck. Okay. So he changes him to enemy. He has a few rams here. And the funny thing is, is he has cav archers that he converted from Lindy. Now, if he snipes this, I would just lose it. If he can snipe the king with the two cav archers that he converted from Lindy, this is highly unlikely. I don't even know if he's paying attention to it. But if he does it, I would lose my shit. And no, he's not going to. <laughs> he's not going to. But there's possibilities, okay? There's possibilities. Problem is that Mangadai killed Ram so quickly. Hey, and you know the, the best way to kill Mongol Rams when you're Aztecs? <laughs> convert Mangadai, and then Mangadai will kill them. Oh, or just convert the Rams! Yeah, let's go! Alright.
you have to sit right next to a ram to convert them, so it's tough when they're this fast. There's so much gold going down. A few conversions, though. I mean, it's not too bad. But I just don't see how Tarzis can survive this. Fun game, though. Fun game. For a game that went on for 90 minutes, which is not that long for 8-player Diplo, we we regularly see games go over 2 hours game time. This is pretty action-packed. I think Nushio deserves the win, honestly. Lindy, his problem was lack of allies, I guess, in the end. Maybe if he wouldn't have sniped yellow so early, it could have been different. If he had yellow, they could have killed Nushio, killed Tarzis, and then he could have uh, sniped yellow to finish off the game. So maybe he will regret that, I don't know. I think that getting three kills, especially one against Miguel in a T90 official community game is probably something most people feel good about. But what do you think, chat? If you get, if you snipe three kings in one of my community games, do you feel good about that, regardless of winning or losing? I imagine you would. <laughs> I imagine you would feel good about it. Just ask Snippy about that. I'm sure he'd say yes. Yeah, I think this game is over. Tarsus is trying, but his monks, they might have faith. And they might have been to the gym a few times this week. 95 HP. They're tanky. They're muscular monks. But uh, if Nushio just patrols his rams in here, it's game over, really. He's out of gold, which is interesting. I guess he has units down here, too. Ah, okay, okay, okay. He's fine. But dear god, that, that monk noise with the MBL mod, that gets so annoying after a while. Uh, it's a classic, though. You would have won the publicity and screen time battle. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Voltanio, but if you're referring to, uh, to Lindy, yeah, I think Lindy had a lot of screen time here. Voltanio says, hell yeah, I wouldn't even care if I lost at this point. Yeah, 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 okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's about, it's about having people watch you, right? Having people see your strategies. I get it, I get it. Well, Tars is, he has to run his king away, and there he goes. Can we just stop for a moment to appreciate the wardrobe this king has? That is a gorgeous man. I'm sorry. That is a gorgeous man. Look at that. Look at that guy. Can we get the cap of prides in the chat for that king? <laughs> the, the funny thing is, he's kind of blending in. He's like the lead monk in that group. He's kind of blending in with the monks. I guess he's running to this castle now. Goldstone says, T90 official, not as gorgeous as you. Dude, you're just sucking up, man. You're just sucking up. Nice try, though. Nice try. I, I know I'll never be as gorgeous as that king. He's getting conversions. I don't know how he's getting so many conversions. It's not easy to do that. But this is the end. This is the final stand. Nushio is just slaughtering all these religious men. There will be no trace of Tarzis soon. And that king will be the final death, I imagine. Or we'll just call the GG. He has to let him snipe the king now, surely. Gotta let him snipe the king. No, don't resign. Let him snipe the king. Let him snipe the king. There we go. The beautiful man gets shot in the face. And he looks good while doing so. I guess it was shot in the back. But well played. Well played. Uh, Pretty solid game. Pretty solid game. Miguel, who's <laughs> way better than everyone watching the stream. And everyone who played this game, for sure. Uh, he got sniped. He was one of the first ones to go down. And that was Lindy. Lindy sniped Captain Cool in miraculous fashion. He sniped Red. Uh, Nushio, he got two king kills in the end, right? He killed Gray, and he killed Tarzis. But solid game. Really enjoyed that. And we're just getting started here on the Twitch stream. I think that'll be a YouTuber at some point. So Twitch, throw your salutes to YouTube. Say hello. But uh, yeah, we're going to continue with the stream today. I think we'll move on to some King of the Hill games on variety of nothing maps there's the kd for you though nushio with a lot more kills it, it came down to him taking engagements versus more people though 
he engaged verse Shash like he engaged versus uh, Lindy, and those were rather long engagements too because the fight versus Gray took a while, and then Lindy he hung in there for a while too. Um, gold difference is always going to be interesting in a diplomacy game, especially when there's no trade. And Nushio he took advantage of the extra gold piles that Nomad offers with 31k gold collected. There's the technology stats for you. I mean, it was really all Miguel, wasn't it? Look at the castle time for Miguel in comparison to the second fastest. <clears throat> and uh, what he started to do is then just build towers. Back to the eco stats, he had 13k stone collected. The majority of that was put into bombard towers, but he got backstabbed by Lindy and he did not expect that. 